Hey, that's a dude. <laughs> that's a dude with earrings on and a bra. This is what America has has, has has brought to this world. This is what the so-called Edomites have brought to this world. They have made it they have made it acceptable for a man to think he can dress like a woman and it'll be okay. When did the Lord say that a man can dress like a woman? It's ridiculous. Women want to be men so bad. And the crazy thing about it, and I'm going to drop some knowledge on y'all. First off, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father. We say, Go Allah, but now Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This world will have you believe, and, and, and we're just going to talk a little bit of truth here, right? Because I'm not going to stay on too long, but make this is some logic right here, okay? A woman. Right, will leave a man and stop dealing with the male species, right. right? But then turn around and start looking like a dude. Right. 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 They'll start looking like a dude. Oh, snap. I thought we were trying to get away from dudes. Well, my I thought we hated men. <laughs> but y'all want to look like men so damn bad because this world has shown you that being a man as a woman is okay. Back in the day, you would have got stoned to death. Why? You would have got stoned to death by the entire uh, 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 nation that you're with. Right. Come, bring this out. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion. The Most High is not what? It's not the author of confusion. And this world is full of confusion. Right? This world is full of confusion. Men wanting to be women. Women wanting to be men, right? Chinese people wanting to be black. Right. Black people wanting to be white. Hey, I even see Africans bleaching their skin. Make that make sense. You got a full-blown African booty scratcher, okay? Because that's what they are, right? With the things in their lips and... Bones in their heads and or all that crazy stuff. But they bleach their skin with a special soap. Right? It's not even a regular bleach, it's a soap. And they start becoming lighter. This world has allowed them to understand that this is right in their eyes. But what we care about is what's right in the most high's eyes. That's right. That's who we are out here being fools for. We're being fools for Christ. We're being fools for the most high. Hey, hey, back up, Becky. What do you need? You love Jesus? Let's talk about Jesus. Come, let's talk about Jesus. Is this Jesus right here? Is this, is this Jesus right here? Is that Jesus? Who is that? He's at the right hand of the Father. That's not Jesus. Who told you that? Who told you that was Jesus? Can I show you what Jesus looks like? He died on the... Absolutely. He died. That's Jesus? Okay. Okay. You believe that, right? All right, well, let's take that and let's let's see what the Bible says. Let's see if the side Bible agrees with you. Hold on, hold on. You, hey, you caught us on a good night tonight. Let's get Revelation 1 and 13, and we're going to get Daniel 10 and 5. And we're going to see what Christ looks like. And we're going to see if this phone bears record to this Bible. That's the one you believe in. All right, we're going to... You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a three strikes and you're out. All right? If these three strikes happen, right? Let's do it. All right. This is Revelation 1 from the top. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means to reveal, correct? Okay, let's go. All right. This is 1 and 14. Let's go to 3. This is 1 and 3. Blessed, he, blessed is he that read it. When was the last time y'all read the Bible? Today? Every day? Okay. Well, let's, let's keep going. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. Yeah. All right, let's jump to 13. This is Revelation 1 and 13. Bring it out. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Yeah. Son of Man is Christ? Yeah. Yes? Okay, let's do it. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, yeah. and a girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. Does that match your phone? It's a 
just said that Christ has woolly hair. Woolly hair. Right? White right. woolly hair. Hold on, let's keep going. That's strike one. That's strike one. I mean, you want this one? I mean, we can give you another one. I mean, he was the same when he was here and before he left. Absolutely. But see, you're being reminded of something that isn't true. That's like me saying that the sky is green and me expecting you to believe that I just said that the sky is green. Is the sky green? Hell no. Let's keep going. All right, so again, again, again. Hold, 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 again, so you get the whole description. So now you'll be like, from now on, you'll say, this is not, this is not Jesus Christ. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were a flame, was as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. B R A S S. Gold? You sure about that? Bronze. Bronze? What color? What color is a penny? Copper. What color is copper? Brown. It's about the same. It's it's brown. It's a it's a dark. It's a derivation of brown. Absolutely. Now let's see how dark this brown was. And his feet like unto fine grass, as if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you put anything in a furnace, hey, hold that thought. Hold that thought. If you put anything anything in a furnace, say I put a cupcake in a furnace. What color is it coming out? There you go. There you go. There you go. So you're on like ten strikes already. I mean, your, your, your image is on 10 strikes. You got some more time, I can show you who you are according to the Bible. How much time you got? You want? You got all day, you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah, the son of God. Damn. Damn. It's all good, it's all good. No, he's good. I'm not his, I'm one of his sons. Hey man. We're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna show him. Say he was the son of God. Oh, what you, what you looking for? Oh wait. I see it flashing. Look at it flashing. Yeah. No, it's good. I, I just turned it off. So, you think you're a son of God, right? Okay. Do you believe that God loves everybody? Everybody? Can I show you that? The Bible doesn't agree with you? Absolutely. Let's go to Romans 9, and we'll start at the top. Bring it out. And then we're going to right. jump down. You got it? Bring it out. This is Romans 9 from the top. Bring it out. I say the truth in Christ. Now, this is Paul speaking, right? Okay. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bears me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continue sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a gift, were a curse from Christ, from my brethren, my brethren, my kindred, my kindred, according to the flesh. And who are these kinsmen? Who are Israelites? No, that said everybody. Who are Israelites? The Moabites gotta be in there somewhere. Who are Israelites? You sure they didn't say Esau? Who are Israelites? To who proclaim of the adoption and the glory and the covenants. And the covenants, both old and new. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. And the service of God. The service of God. Keep going. And the promises. Who are the fathers and who and who of who? And you think Christ came for everybody? Okay, let's find out. It's going to tell you right, right now. Pay attention. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came? Christ came only for the Israelites. That's right. Absolutely. That's what I just said. All right. So now hold on. Now if you're describing Romans 11, Romans 10, which one? Nine and ten? Oh, man. Let, let's go to the meat. Let's go to nine thirteen. Let's go to nine thirteen. This, this is the. And you believe God loves everybody, right? And you believe He doesn't hate at all? Hermanas. 
righteous indignation. Righteous indignation. Yeah. Okay, let's find out. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, that's Israel, but Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. He hates an entire nation of people. How do you feel about that? Okay, well, let's find out. Let's go to Malachi 1 and 4. Oh, man, let's go to Malachi 1. Let's just start from the top. Oh, man, get, get, get me that uh, he hates the sinner. Because we're going to show this guy, and we're going to show that you said you read the Bible. Hey, you can go to as many cemetery schools as you want. Let's, let's bring this out. One, three. Uh, we can start from the top. The book of Malachi 1 and 1. The burning of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, we're in house, house, thou loved us. Meaning, meaning, I'm not, not uh, hold on, hold on. You, you're getting ahead of yourself now, okay? Hold that thought, all right? First off, he just said that he loves Israel. But they said that God doesn't love us. Why? Because they go through the curses that are written for all the Israelites who don't follow his commandments. Let's keep going. Huh. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, and he loved Esau, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So he just said that Esau, whoever this individual would be, he said that he hates Esau. Let's see how much he hates Esau. Let's see if it's just a person. Uh, Rebel on. Are you saying he hates uh, all Mexicans and all Native Americans? No, 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 no. What, read, read, the, read what this is. This, these right here are the representation of the children of Israel. The 12 tribes. We got Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. Who on this earth gets treated worse than these people right here on this sign? Who in this world has gotten their land stolen from them by more people? But hold on. See, now you're talking about another thing. You're talking about the Jews. And this is actually a part of my lesson that I was going to bring out today is that Christianity has made us believe that there are only Jews. Jews make up three tribes, actually two and a half. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi are all the tribes of the Jews. What about the rest of these other tribes? Right. He loves 12 tribes, and you just... So it's not that he loves the Jews, it's like he loves Jews and Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Right. That's who he loves. But that's only who he loves. Yeah. So he hates the I mean, I would say he has a strong dislike for the Gentiles. He hates somebody else. Let's read this. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. There goes the children of Israel again. Keep going. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. He just said that he only knows that he's only intimate with the children of Israel. Those 12 tribes right there. What do you, how do you feel about that? Does that agree with what you just said, that God loves everybody? Right. As a matter of fact, God has a, 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 a judgment coming to this world. This world calls good evil and evil good. Right? What you got? This is the book of Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Did you hear that? The nation are as uh, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. No, no. Seventeen. Con. Verse seventeen. All nations before him are as nothing. Are as nothing. Let's see how much nothing. And they are counted to him. Less than nothing and vanity. And vanity. Now, that actually links up with that Romans 9. What you got? Come on, we're going to get that. Let's get back to that Romans 9 real quick. And then grab me. Uh... I 
after that. But let's go back to that Romans 9 real quick because he believes that he's a child of God still, probably. You know? He still thinks. Do oh, wicked flee! Do wicked flee! Do wicked flee! Do wicked flee! Hey! Esau, come back over here! I just wanted to talk for a second! Damn! Oh man. Yeah, he's definitely gonna go burn something down tonight. He's gonna jump off the top of a building somewhere. Hey, you guys believe in God? No.